Hey, yeah, 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 falling. Okay, I got a question for you. Why is it that we are able to hear a difference between a guitar and a ukulele? Obviously, these two instruments look vastly different, right? This is a lot smaller, it's made with a softer wood, this is a lot heavier and sturdier of a build, so of course the quality is gonna be a little bit different. It's even this guitar, and even this guitar. And a bug on my neck. Similar, yeah, but, but different. So what, what gives? Why? They're playing the same note. Same note. But yet they sound different. To answer the question, first we have to look at this. Basically, if, if you play a note here, it produces notes above that note. You can hear a high-pitched ringing sound if you listen very, very closely. Yeah, okay, so why, why is the harmonic series or the overtone series important? Basically, depending on how many overtones a sound produces, will decide the tone of that note. Let me explain. I need to get my phone out. Okay, look, we have this. Look at it. All of those are just different frequencies and overtones and all that stuff. So we can't really see the overtones right now. You just see a lot of frequencies. I mean, you can't see them, but they don't really stand out. A lot of it just looks really random. Watch what happens when I play a note. Right, do you notice anything? Isn't that weird? The orange line is the note that it's being played. And you can see like other stacks next to it, like other spikes. Those other spikes are the overtones being produced by this instrument. And you can do it with your voice too. The overtones will decide the tone uh, of the pitch, right? The timbre, if you will. It, ooh, see how many overtones there are? Now watch what happens if you say ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Now what happens when you add a lot of distortion into it? Ooh, ah, ooh. Not that much difference actually, I'm gonna be honest. But you can tell a massive difference between the vowels, right? Like ooh and ah sound way, look way different. Ooh. Wow. Tone, or timbre more accurately, is decided by how many overtones and how loud those overtones are. That decides the quality of the sound, you know? Not quality like, is it high quality or low quality? Quality more like properties, like is it bright, is it dark, is it round, is it a square wave or a sine wave? Like, so like the quality of a ukulele on, on an E, that's not an E. It's like, it, it's round, it's kind of mellow. It's a little bit of brightness to it, but I'd say it's more dark than bright. Feel free to debate. This is all kind of subjective, except for the objective parts. <laughs> Versus a guitar, which sounds more, definitely a lot brighter. Cause like a guitar sounds more like an eh, you know? Ukulele sounds more like a do. seems to match this better than any other valve. The valve that matches it more closely is It's an oo as opposed to an e. Okay, let's take just valves for a second. Every valve has a different quality to them. And yeah, we're using our muscles in our mouth to shape the sound, but what we're really doing is manipulating which overtones are being produced and which overtones are being amplified. So now we got this, right? And this is slightly different. So instead of showing the frequencies of everything in the room, it only shows the frequencies of a note being produced. If I go, ooh, the purple one is the note that I'm singing and all the other ones are overtones being produced by that note. And watch this, I'm gonna go through the valves and you're gonna see the overtones change. A I O U. See that? Especially the difference between ooh and ah. Ooh, ah. Next question, why do people sound different? You may not believe it, but the answer is exactly the same.
And it's probably deeper than this. Like, I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert on this. This is just what I've learned from hours and hours of researching on the internet. People sound different because we, if you take people like Ed Sheeran versus Queen, obviously they're singing different styles, but it's also their skull shape is so much different. Depending on the way that your skull is shaped and on the way that you manipulate the muscles inside your throat and your mouth, you can change the tone of your voice, the quality of your voice. <sighs> All right, well, that's the end of the video. That's basically all I have for you, so... Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, bye.